I'm one of the best Rainbow Six Siege players in the world. And if you guys want to get better at the game, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe for future content. And if you couldn't tell, right there, I have my own charm in the game too. The way you get my charm is very simple. You head over to my Twitch channel. The link is in the description. You sub for $5 and you have the charm forever. It's one of the best charms in the game. And let's continue today's video. These operators will help you rank up. Let me explain who you should be running if you're struggling with your rank grind, your KD, and things like that. And if you want anything else, just comment below and I'll make the video as soon as possible. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is what hard breacher you should be running. It's simple. Ace is the best hard breacher in the game because you can open up an entire wall, you can open up in a hatch, and you can do it from a safe distance. The biggest issue with Thermite is that you are not safe sticking something on the wall you have to hope somebody is holding your back if you are though in a stack run thermite because you have the flashes you have the smokes and honestly the gun is just as good the only reason you should ever run habana is if you're focusing hatches don't run habana if you're opening main walls the hole is so tiny that the defenders don't have to peek you and they just get a weird angle on the hole and they stare at it and you don't want that to happen to you when we talk about what entries you're going to run, you have a few options. Who is considered an entry? An entry operator is an operator you can kill with, not what other people can do with, what you can do with, right? So like Ash, Sophia are entries to me, but I don't play Sophia. So when you ask me what entry to use, I go, oh, play Ash or Buck. And someone goes, Buck? Well, he's a vert. He plays Flex. But if you're good with Buck, like I'm good with Buck, I'm picking him every single time I entry. If someone runs away from me, I can Buck them horizontally. If I win my fights, I can make Vert up or down. I have flashes for a gunfight. To me, a great entry operator is an operator with flashes, high fire rate and damage, and the ability to rotate quickly. That's what Buck can do. If Ash had flashes... Ash would be insanely broken, but there's a reason she doesn't. The reason why people love Sophia is because she has the stuns, but her recoil is unmanageable. Finca is the best operator in the game of Rainbow Six Siege at the moment. Flash, smoke, grenades, LMG no recoil, heal boost yourself, and res your teammates from across the map. This is the best operator in the game, hands down. So, now with that being said... We went over hard breach. We went over what operators it kills with. When do you know to use what type of EMPs? Do you play Doak, Lion, or Thatcher? If you are going to open a wall and you don't want to waste time and you and it has to be easy, smooth, you pick Thatcher every time. Unless you're in a five stack who is trying hard, run Thatcher because it limits the mistakes okay you emp it gets put on you emp again they can't be tricked you win it's done these type of emps the throwables from doke line or osa whoever has them it creates a thing where you have to be perfect and it has to be done exactly the right way or things can go very wrong i much rather use thatcher hands down i will pick osa in this one unique scenario if I know I'm opening a wall and I have to go through it and get kills. Now, what wall is like that? Well, platform on CC Clubhouse, right? The wall, the platform, you know you're going to be on there. You have to look inside and you have to kill the people in rafters. So I want a shield so I can do that safely. But there are certain walls that you will open that you don't need to do that. There's plenty of places around to be covered right? Consulate garage. If you put a shield there, it limits the space to move around. You already have boxes. Use the boxes they give you already and just thermite and thatch of the wall and then move around. Now, when we talk about global operators, when should you play like a lion or a doke? Number one, Deimos, lion, doke are broken. Global operators are operators that hit one button and they affect the global of the map, the entirety of the map. And the other team can't do anything about it. They literally just get screwed over 
for just living the operator life. You can't do anything about it, and it sucks unless you're in the site hiding. It forces people back to the map. Another global op is Jackal. That's why Jackal gets banned, but Jackal gets banned more than anybody because you get scanned all the way back to the site, and it's frustrating. You can't expand. When do you play Jackal? Play Jackal when you have great gun skill and you have the confidence to clear people or you're in a stack. When I solo queue Oregon, Coastline, Border, I play Jackal and I make all the roamers go back to the site and I love it. I know it, it annoys everybody and it's just what I like to do. Okay. IQ, you're only going to play her on Banking Cafe. That's just my opinion. If you have more questions about this stuff, I'm answering comments all day today and tomorrow. So just comment. Defense, smoke or mute, when do I run either or? Listen, it's simple. If your team isn't bringing wall denial, you have to play mute. But if you have a Cade, a bandit, somebody that's denying the wall, you can openly play smoke and get your things done. Make the rotates and put yourself in the hardest place to play in the round, the area that you need to stop the push from, and you will win more rounds because you're controlling the outcome more. Defense is about controlling the outcome and you will win more games. These are the best defenders in the game. I'm not going to be as specific as I was on attack because defending is different. Defending is about if you lose a round, you're supposed to instantly counter what just happened to you. And you're supposed to make the other people change what they did and be better in a deeper way. All right? So if they didn't attack and they bodied you, they're going to go, oh, let's just do it again. But if you super counteract and they get there, they go, whoa, what are we going to do now? And that's good for you. So smoke and mute are always going to be elite. Trap operators are the best. The best solo queue operator in the game is Legion. Legion has the ability to cover 7 to 11 different areas by himself with a sound queue and a trap and a no recoil gun. Smoke, mute, Legion, all elite. Jaeger or Wamai are picked based on the map. If the map has a site with multiple pushes, either far right, far left, far north, far south, you don't know where they're attacking from, you bring Wamai. But if you know they have to push something, you bring Jaeger, right? You bring Jaeger because Jaeger has a better weapon. That's it. That's the main reason why. Mira is always going to be a great operator, even if you can ash charge them. You just bring a Jaeger or a Mai to stop the Ash Breach from breaking them. Valkyrie will always be an elite operator because of the intel. Intel ops overall. So intel, 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 Lucy, intel. How is a trap operator intel? Because they have to hit it in order to keep going. Break it, go through it, die to it. Trap operators are the next best thing next to cameras. Start playing with more traps. Start playing with more hollows. Stop looking outside and you will win more games. These videos aren't meant to be the best type of videos, but they will make you better. Hit the like button, comment below. Check out my TikTok, of course, as well. And I'll talk to you guys next time.